During these times of transition, if I was afforded the opportunity to sit down with you and have an open and honest discussion about where we live, go to school, work, and worship, it'd be interesting to me to see if a recurring theme surfaces, and that is that our city is in a season of change. Recently, overwhelmingly, residents voted to extend our mayor another four-year term. The chancellor, faculty and staff and administration of the University of California Riverside has opened up historically and unprecedentedly doors of inclusion within its staff and its, its campus faculty. Also, the collaborative efforts of downtown Riverside, the county of Riverside, and the university as well to bring the California Air Resources Board headquarters to our city and more specifically in War II. This is a $400 million investment which is an economic engine that will drive our economy and always the growing population in our ward. People relocating and moving and enjoying the amenities of this area of the city that we love. Riversiders are demanding strong, visionary leadership. And only those who possess the creativity and the innovation will possess what it takes to lead us to seize our destiny. Clearly, the potential and resources in our ward affords us the opportunity to be a flagship member of our political structure. As councilmen, here's my four-part plan. They include business, security, legacy, and unity. Number one, business. Within our business and financial sector of our ward, I want to be the council person that brokers and networks new relationships as well as strengthen old ones. Our ward has access to three major freeways. Also, we have the corridor for the artery connecting UCR with downtown, known as University Avenue, which for me, I don't truly believe it's maximized in the potential that it offers and brings, which represents attractiveness to bring business, but also provide jobs for the residents of our ward. Number two, safety and security. Underscoring the need that we all want to live in a safe and secure place, I don't want to look to address or to face these challenges by looking and referencing old solutions not looking to bring on or ask for more police power, no. I want to bring in new innovative strategies where we as residents take ownership of that and we achieve the sense of safety for our communities and security for our families. Third, legacy. War II has a unique and peculiar identity. Historically, legendarily, within the area of sports, arts, cultural diversity, and Olympic achievement. Raising the profile of not just our ward, but our city on a major stage, statewide, nationally, and globally. And of course, for unity. No matter where you live in War II, I want to be the councilman that brings a sense of unity, which makes us all better. When the tide comes in, all boats rise. And as we work together to have a sense of this founded upon dignity, respect, and mutual goodwill, that would be reflective of the kind of War II I grew up in. The time is now for us to raise the bar and to achieve our potential as a ward. I'm John Scott Harris, and I'm running for City Council. Join me, and let's work together to create a new War II. Vote for me, June 2017. Thank you. I join John. I join John. I join John.
I'm John Harris, and I approve this message.